I'm doing shout outs today. Stick around past the intro and see who I'm shouting out. Okay, I think that's got a good shot of me now. Yeah. Well, now let's get down to business. Today I've come here to Brainerd Park to cover doing a few shout outs for channels that I've promised to do shout outs for. And right now I'm working on a shout out for the Kentucky Woodsman. Uh, he's doing a 400 sub giveaway. He wanted us to show him some fall footage, and that would get us entered. I forget what, he, what it was, uh, one, one entry for fall foliage. How do you like that bright red? That is, oh, and I'm drawing a mental blank on its name now. I'll notate it with a, uh, Splash screen. Fall color maple. Right off my back porch. And it's only just beginning. And here we are late in October. This used to be the bridge across the river, Connecticut River, from Enfield to Suffield, Connecticut. My friend, we're on another day in a different place, and some more of the colors of autumn. Yeah, well, we still get the green too from the pines. Oh my. One more shot of autumn color here in my general region. To right now I have come to one of my favorite little places to go. Get some peace and quiet. You all have seen this place before in my videos. This is Brainerd Park. I did this for, uh, I was here for Uptrail 71's uh, video for uh, his giveaway, the shout out for his giveaway. A nice little place. It's got picnic tables, it's got uh, some outhouses and it's got garbage cans but you know what the one thing it does not have anymore it used to have but they took it away and that is barbecue pits no longer can you have an open fire or cook in any way shape or form here at Brainerd Park sad but true It was two or three entries if we went a little further. Well, brother, it's part of what I came out here for. You asked about our favorite camping cup. Well, I've got two favorite cups, and it depends on what kind of camping I'm doing. If I'm going to be car camping, then my favorite cup is my handle cup, because if I'm walking around and I want to empty my hand I can always hang it on my belt just like that to free up my good hand if I'm going camping out in the wild and I'm gonna to have to hike a distance which means this is gonna be slung from my back via a, a strap or I'm not even gonna have this thermos with me I'll have my stainless steel canteen which is a few videos back I showed you all my stainless steel canteen. Then my favorite camping cup is going to be the cup that comes on top of either of the two 
the bottle. The nice thing is the cup is interchangeable either or. So is the plug for my thermos or my stainless steel water bottle. They are interchangeable since they are both thermos brand. Yes, what I did was took a thermos that would no longer keep things hot and I removed the outer shell with my dr grinder and Dremel tool and turned it into a stainless steel water bottle that I could put in fire and boil in. I wouldn't dare try and boil in this. I've seen these things explode by getting into the fire. Told you all a while back about my Dodge Ram. It was an 05 model. And when I moved to where I'm living back in 2011, in November, it wasn't long after, come June of 2012, somebody burned my truck to the ground and I had a couple thermoses inside it. And they both exploded. And they were the ones that didn't work very good anymore and they exploded. When everything was settled down, I found that in the passenger door of my Ram was a big chunk of steel from one of the thermoses sticking three inches out the outside of the door. They'd originally sat in the passenger front seat. So when they exploded, a piece of shrapnel came off and now you understand why I tell people don't put a double wall in the fire. Because it might be you that piece of metal goes through when this thing ruptures instead of your car door. I just thought I'd toss that in here while I'm doing it. But as I say, if I'm hiking any distance, uh, half a mile or greater, then this is my favorite cup because it's screwed onto my thermos or my water flask and I ain't got to worry about dropping it while I'm trying to hike. Hot tea. Wonderful. The reason I like this is because it's double wall thermos as well and yes, it's actually a thermos brand cup and it will keep my tea hot longer. So I don't have to worry about hurrying it up and sipping it down from the cap cover. The other nice thing is when my tea is really hot I have to hold this cup by this band. That's why it's on there because that cup has no thermal insulation and it gets bloody hot. So that's why it's my second favorite cup. But like I say, it all depends on application, too. So, as I was saying, if you haven't seen the Kentucky Woodsman's channel, I will leave a link down below in the description box. Go check them out. Tell them Embrado sent you. Peace. Out. By the way, don't forget to...